Hi, my name is Andy Wood. I'm Education Director for Audubon North Carolina, and I'm here to talk to you about when do bluebirds hatch. Bluebirds are members of the thrush family. They're related to robins, and in North America we have three different kinds. The eastern bluebird, which is generally east of the Mississippi River, the western bluebird, typically found west of the Mississippi, and then the mountain bluebird, which is in the mountainous regions of, of our western states. All three bluebirds have similar nesting habits. They, they all breed in cat or nest in cavities, uh, abandoned woodpecker holes, and even nest boxes put out by people around their yards or out in farm fields. Typically, nesting begins in late February, as soon as the conditions warm, and up, warm up enough that the adults can find insects to feed their offspring. So we don't usually find nesting occurring in the middle of winter, but rather end of February, early March, the pair, a male and a female, will bond together, form a, a very tight companionship, and then uh, breeding takes place, and just a few days, well, actually backing up, they build a nest in the cavity made of straw and uh, pine straw grasses, soft uh, vegetation, and then all of that is incorporated in a nice little cup to keep the eggs warm during cold spring nights. The, uh, the eggs, typically four to six, are laid in the cavity by the female over a period of days. She'll incubate, and that usually, the incubation is usually 12 to 14 days. And then after they've hatched out, the male and female both take care of the young, but especially the male bringing food to the cavity or to the nest. And then uh, roughly 17 to 22 days after the eggs hatch, the young are ready to leave the, the nest box. And when they leave the nest box, they're full grown, maybe even a little heavier than their parents. And that's when bluebirds hatch.